To make seed bombs, you need the following ingredients. You need one part of whatever measure you're using of compost and two parts of whatever measure you're using of bentonite clay, dried bentonite clay, which is in a powder here. That makes that light colour granular kind of feeling in here. And you bind them together with a mixture of water and dilute sea salt. You could use plain water, but I like to use sea salt because it gives the seeds a bit of a boost. You blend that together with your hand, adding the liquid until you get to a point where if you hold it in your hand, it will come together and hold a ball. The reason for holding the ball shape is just so that they're easy to handle and put out wherever you're going to plant them. I'm going to use this mixture right now because I've got some old tomato seed that I want to put in the garden and use it up. So you can see the seed sitting there. If I was going to use all of this mixture for growing tomatoes, then I'd just throw the seed in there and mix it in and make bombs. But because I want to use some of it for something else and I don't want tomatoes growing up in amongst it, I'm going to select the seeds as I go. So this is how you do it. I picked up two tomato seeds on the end of my finger. With my other hand, I'm making a little bit of a smudge of the seed bowl mix. Can you see the two seeds there? And then another smudge over the top. And then squeeze it together with my hands until it makes a ball. Go again. Usually find the hand that I've been mixing with is the sticky one and that's easier to pick up seeds. Okay, that's going to have a few more than one. That's alright. Make a little bit of a platform again. Wipe your seeds onto it. Add a bit more on top. Smush it together into a bomb in your hands. Put it aside. Until all of your seeds, there they are again. Bit of a platform. Wipe the seeds onto it. Cover them over. Go. You can see how fast this can be. Alright, now once you've made your bombs, you've got a choice. There they are. I could plant these right now, which is what I'm going to do, or if the conditions weren't right for the seed bomb I just made, I could dry them. De um, a dehydrator, a low, slow oven. Dry them out really as quickly as you can. Why? Because you don't want the seed that you've covered in that slightly moist mixture to start germinating only to die sitting in a bag. So if you're going to dry them and use them later, dry them as quickly as you can and set them aside, label them because once you make them they all look the same and then you can put them out when the time is right and that's what makes seed bombs even better because you can make a heap throughout the year drying, making them as you go and then when the conditions are right for where you live Put them out and nature will take their course. It's as easy as that. Okay, so I'm out in the veggie garden. It's looking a bit tired and shagged after winter and summer last year, so I'm getting it ready as soon as it's spring and I'm going to plant the seed bombs I made, the ox heart tomatoes, because they do really well here. That's them there. And I've gone along with a mattock and made some divots and you get your seed bomb, you drop it in, the lucky red bands, press, next one. I use quite a lot of mulch in this garden, so it's a little woody debris around. Dropping it in. Kind of use loosely smushing it in. Next one, it's got a bit more soil on it. Oh, 
last one's going to have two because I've run out of divots. <laughs> Sweet. Get the idea? When you light mine or your garden like this, you bet you would. <laughs> 